<laughs> hey guys, so my name is Dorian, obviously Yovana's husband. <laughs> and and um, boy, over 15 cute. years ago, I was in a bad accident and I had some whiplash. And ever since then, I uh, developed Car accident. and got whiplash. And ever since then, I had, or I first developed TMJ, which is um, muscular pain disorder in your your mouth muscles. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce it because it's very difficult to pronounce, but you can look it up, TMJ. And that was like the first sign of pain um, that I was getting. And then that started developing into neck pain, upper back pain, shoulder pain. Uh, so my body became just really tense. So I got into yoga. That helped a ton. Mm -hmm. Um, after that, tried acupuncture, osteopaths, chiropractors. A lot of those um, healing modalities helped quite a bit, uh, especially acupuncture. That took my pain level from like a 9-10 to like a, you know, a 6-7, six, six, which was a huge, huge improvement. But after that, it was more maintenance. I never really got below six seven and even at times I'd still kind of flare up and go into like a pain level of like an eight or sometimes a nine but rarely a nine um, and, you know went to chiropractic care that helped a ton but it was more maintenance so you know if I flared up and I was in a lot of pain go get an adjustment felt great for a day or two and after that typically the pain would come back. And so that's been, definitely been an issue for, you know, over the last decade. Uh, but, you know, things have improved and gotten better, but they've, I feel like they've definitely plateaued. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I have to be really careful with any physical activity. That's why I typically stick to yoga. And yoga has is, is done, you know, wonders to my body but you know even with yoga i, I feel like I've, I've kind of plateaued or hit a limit and he's such an expert at <clears throat> yoga <laughs> thank you babe <laughs> but uh you know i want to i want to go beyond that plateau and mm -hmm. so that's the reason why i'm gonna test out stem cell therapy yeah, yeah so this type of stem cell uh, done by dr adelson uh, takes your own stem cells from your fat um, you can also take it from your bones as well, but it'll be from your fat. And then he mixes that um, with something else. I uh, believe it's derived from placenta. Yeah, um, but it's it called doesn't exosomes ex to be exact. Exactly, but it doesn't uh, contain any DNA from the donor. And most of it is from you know my my body. Yeah. Um, and then they inject that into each vertebrae down the cervical and the spine. And that is where I get most of my pain is in my, my cervical um, and upper back. Um, my lower back, I don't have any pain, but I do have a ton of tightness. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I don't, I don't <clears throat> notice any, any pain in my lower back region. Um, the doctor will be doing each vertebrae up my spine and uh, cervical. Yeah, and so basically what stem cell therapy does with this one is that he, they take it from his fat and inject it back into his body to activate the healing mechanisms that the body naturally does. So for example, if you are in a, in a car injury or a car accident or whatever type of injury that you have, your body naturally will go into healing mode. And the best part of it is that it comes from your own body. So he's, he's extracting it from Dorian's own body. Um, so the procedure is basically, you, they're going to put you to sleep. Yeah. Are you nervous about that? No, I don't like the idea of being injected mm. with things that put me under, but I know it's going to be worth it. We really have a lot but of... But I have some detox protocols that I'm already in place. Like what? <laughs> um, a lot of milk thistle. That's mm. one of them. How does milk thistle help? Uh, it helps detoxify the liver. Mm. And the dandelion tea. And the dandelion tea. It's cool yeah. as well. So yeah, tomorrow we're going into the office at 7.45 a.m. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So we're getting out of the condo in about 15 minutes. 
And right now I'm making some coffee. Um, this is a coffee with ashwagandha, which helps to just calm and de-stress. Um, I have some MCT oil in here and I'm putting it in here. For sanitary purposes, we have to do all these things. Put these covers on our shoes. Clean personal electronic devices, sanitize hands, place mask on face. Hello everyone, so we're here with Dr. Harry Adelson. He is probably the only person in the world that does the stem cell therapy uh, procedure that Dorian is going under today. Cutting edge therapy that um, focuses on neck and back pain, mm -hmm. correct? The way that Harry does this is very unique to anywhere else, which is why we're here. Thank you so much, Giovanna. <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. And Dorian, here we are, That's ready for true. your treatment. So Thank I was you just- for having me here. Sure, of course, I'm looking forward to it. I was just looking over the, the intake that we did a couple of months ago in preparation for this. And you had a motor vehicle collision in 2006 that was quite, quite dramatic. It involved yes. the car rolling. Mm -hmm. and, um, and you've had post whiplash syndrome ever since and not surprisingly you haven't really gotten much relief from it because conventional medicine has very little to offer uh, other than pain medications yeah. which is not a great uh, solution I, and then the alternative modalities like chiropractic and acupuncture and all of that frequently does work and if I remember correctly it helped you somewhat but it just never got you all the way there when we have post whiplash syndrome like you have, then there's like a fundamental change in the microscopic anatomy and all those little intrinsic muscles of your neck where all the blood vessels pass and all the nerves pass and you're, you're 31, but your neck is biologically considerably older. Yeah, if you look, if you were to do like a punch biopsy of the tissue, it would look like the tissue of a much older person. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, as Giovanna was saying, my, my kitchen sink approach, which is we take stem cells from your fat, which is a very rich source of mesenchymal stem cells, and we're gonna take stem cells from your bone marrow, which is a source of, of stem cells, but also a source of great growth factors to accelerate healing, like collagen, and I mean, it's bone broth from your own body. Then we're gonna use exosomes, which are the growth factors from uh, placental derived stem cells, and we're gonna use some amniotic membrane, which is comprised of bioidentical human derived hyaluronic acid, which is what ligaments, intervertebral discs are made of. We're not just gonna do your neck, we're gonna focus on your neck. We're gonna do the facet joints, we're gonna do an epidural injection, a stem cell epidural. We're gonna put stem cells in the epidural space, but then we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of your spine, your thoracic spine, and low back. So we're going to start up here and then do the entire length of your spine. And I, I've, I've heard a lot about how important it is to get into the right area. Can you tell us a little bit about that and why your procedure is mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. unique? So stem cells, first of all, stem, we have stem cells in every tissue in our body and their role is to uh, promote healing after injury. So anytime you have any sort of injury at all and then you have healing after the injury, it's a stem cell mediated event. It's your own stem cells are responsible for that tissue healing. Well, when you have suboptimal healing, which is what you have, where you have an area of your body that didn't completely heal after a major traumatic injury, we're gonna take stem cells from these other areas of your body where you have robust populations, your fat and your bone marrow. We're gonna supplement with the, with the exosomes and the amniotic membrane, and then we're gonna put it right where the problem is. When you give stem cells intravenously, what happens is first they go to your lungs and they actually get trapped in your lungs and then they dump all their growth factors and you get a big flush of growth factors throughout your entire body but it's mostly going to your internal organs because that's what gets the most blood flow. Musculoskeletal structures do not have anything the blood flow that internal organs have. If we need to treat your neck, we need to actually put the stem cells right in those tissues in your neck for them to exert their effect there. 
And so in the spine, there's three columns, the rear column, the middle column, and the front column. Front column is the vertebral bodies and the intervertebral discs. We're not gonna do those in you because you, from what you're telling me, I don't think you have a problem. Although we do a lot of disc injections here. Then the middle column is the spinal canal and all that pain that you're radiating down into your shoulders and your arms, that's the problem of the spinal canal. That's why we're doing stem cells into the epidural space, that middle column. Mm -hmm. And then the rear column is everything behind the spinal cord. Okay. So like when you get a massage, yep. that's what they're that's what they're interfacing with is these all these structures sort of behind the spinal cord. And we're gonna put a ton of stem cells back there. Are you excited, babe? Very excited. Can't <laughs> wait. So Dorian is in the procedure room. I mean, I couldn't even say goodbye to him. I was in the other room. He went to change and I guess he went like right into this room. So, so now all I'm gonna do is just wait for him to get out. He's right there. Hey guys, so I'm here in a, so I'm here waiting in this little room, uh, waiting for Dorian to come out. He's been in there for like an hour and a half almost and he still needs about another hour. Um, so yeah, we're really hopeful for this procedure. We're really looking forward to it. Um, this clinic was actually closed for a couple of months during the COVID and now they reopened, but they only allow like 10 people to come in at a time. So they're being very cautious with everything, just taking a lot of precautions, um, which is really good. And, you know, as soon as we came in the door, we had to basically like sanitize everything. So yeah just gonna keep waiting and I'll see you guys in a bit. No, everything looked fine. I mean, just up, cause we were just looking with x-ray and we were using x-ray for the needle placement. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't really see anything wrong with you radiographically, okay. yep. which isn't surprising. And I think most of the pain that you're experiencing is coming from the microscopic tissues, from the soft tissues, which doesn't show up on x-ray. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, um, but everything went great. We did the epidurals in your neck and your low back. We did the facets along the entire length of your spine. And the occiput. And the occiput as well. You have any pain right now? Uh, no, like I said, I can feel my lower back. Where we took, yeah, because where we took the yeah. fat and the bone marrow, that's yeah. what's going to bug you the most. That I can feel. Yeah, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to bug you for a couple of days. Yeah. He's getting the ozone therapy done, and the blood is coming out of here. Mm -hmm, all the fats are coming out with it. And then it goes through a filter, that filter right there, which mm -hmm. basically... See, now it's starting to come in through. Yeah. And we'll see We'll see a couple drops hit the hit the chamber here. Mm -hmm. And once it hits the chamber, then I'll, then I'll turn the ozone on. And then we'll plug them back in on the other side. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dr. Harry Adelson. We're here in my clinic, Doceri Clinics in Park City. Dorian just underwent a full spine makeover, and we are uh, giving him a new treatment that we've just uh, integrated into the clinic. Uh, extracorporeal blood oxygenation and ozonation. So what we're doing is we're taking blood out of this arm and you can see how dark it is. It passes through this filter, which filters out all the heavy metals and uh, fat and toxins and uh, any impurities. And then it pumps ozone into the blood. And then you can see when it's, it's going back into this vein, a much more highly oxygenated uh, happier blood. And so we're going to be doing this with all of our patients, all of our stem cell procedures, and then also for people who just want to do this for health purposes. This container is capturing all the imp impurities that are being filtered out of the blood. So this is all the bad stuff that you don't want in there to begin with. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. So this is the, the new blood? That's the new blood. This is the old. That's the old. Blood. That's his. That's that's what's in his system now with all the fats and waste products. And then this is the new fresh stuff to clean wow, up. Wow, that's that amazing. amazing. Mm -hmm. Do you feel anything? No, he's been humming along. No, yeah. but look, but I mean, look, we're cleaning up his. 
we're cleaning up this cardiovascular system. We're unloading all the all the fat and waste products out of the system right now, putting it through a filter. Yeah. If you, and, and, and if you're looking at talking to people in the Latin market now, what's yeah. the prevalence of cardiovascular disease in Latin America? It's insane. See, it's insane. It sucks on the. And then so this just cleans everybody up. Wow. Feeling good? Feeling good? Great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Feeling much, much better than I expected. <laughs> I didn't expect to be, feel like that, but I just didn't know. Well, don't you think that uh, running that uh, clears you of oh, yeah. the drugs? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It breaks. It breaks all the anesthesia. Right. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I feel. Well, maybe even clearer than when I walked. That's great. Really? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, Dave, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank well, you so much, oh, Dr. Harry. Thank, thank you, thank I'm just, you. I'm really excited about your outcome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's going to be amazing. I think, uh, I mean, you know, give it a few days, but um, you know, go great right now. <laughs> give it six months, you're going to be amazing. Yeah. We'll go ahead and get wait. to us. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> These are all the protein, the inflammatory proteins that were detoxed out of his blood through the ozone therapy. And now he has new blood, clean blood. Yay! So that's it's another filter. Over. That's another filter. So all the fats that you don't see in there yeah. that were coming out, they're stuck in here. That's why wow. that is so uh, liquidy. liquidy. Yeah. And that's, that's yeah. not, yeah. But some like people with like crazy autoimmune diseases, it won't, the phone will never settle down. Wow. It's just how much toxins their system has. Oh my wow. gosh. Yeah. All right, we're leaving now. Okay, Bye, guys. Dr. Harry. Bye. See you later. Good luck. See you guys. Good, Good luck. luck. Enjoy See you. Thank you. Okay, Dora. If you want to sit in the chair, I'll get those booties off your feet. Oh. Thank you. For, thank you for walking us out. Sure. Thank you. I just want to make sure our friends are doing okay. All right. You guys take care. All right. Call thank you. Anything. Yes. Thank you so Tomorrow. much. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey. Hola, hola. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Yeah? You feel good? Feeling good. Yeah. How do you feel physically? Do you, Are you sore anywhere? Uh, very sore. Really? Where, where do you feel sore? My whole entire back and neck yeah. where they did the injections. And how do you feel? But overall, you feel good? Overall, feel good, but you know, can't, shouldn't move too much. Yeah and feel kind of stiff and sore, but overall, besides that, feel good. That's normal. And rest up, babish. Today I am his nurse, so I've been just feeding him and giving, some, giving him tea or whatever he needs. Um, yeah, just being on top of it as a good wife. Good morning. So we're just arriving to Dosier Clinics. Here is the man. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Great. <laughs> so? So glad he did well last night. Not so surprised that he didn't sleep well. Yeah. We were saying that taking a two hour drug induced nap in the middle of the day doesn't usually yeah. help people sleep the first night. But tonight you'll sleep better. Yes. You know, I don't expect improvement for the first two months. Okay. Except post whiplash post syndrome and that a lot of times because a lot of that is adhesions you know it's like scar tissue in all those little intrinsic muscles of your neck and just the act of busting up those adhesions with fluid is enough mm -hmm. to you know loosen stuff up and improve circulation I, I heard a little fluid yesterday kind of mm -hmm. laying down is that kind of normal there's a we put a lot of stuff yeah in there. I figured that would be mm -hmm. normal yeah it's everything's weird yeah. first couple of months are just weird like yeah good days, bad days. Frequently there's improvement in the beginning with post whiplash, but really at two months is re where the real benefit starts mm -hmm. to kick in, two, between two months and six months. The whole idea with this treatment is that we think that most pain generation is actually occurring on the microscopic level. Mm -hmm. So all those little tissue beds, the, the collagen fibers, the microcirculation, the stuff that you can't see, it doesn't even show up on MRI, mm -hmm. those are actually unhealthy. You know, it's like yeah. a form of scar tissue. And so what we're, one of the things that we know that stem cells do is they help promote the growth of healthy connective tissue. And the reason we know that is one of the areas of medicine that shows the most promise, that has the best research for stem cell medicine is wound care for people who have non-healing wounds. Mm -hmm. And so like they've got this ulcer that won't heal 
and they can't grow skin and they can't grow skin and so these researchers inject stem cells into the ulcer and then suddenly they grow skin. Well the way that happens is when you grow skin is first you grow these healthy blood vessels then it allows skin to grow over top and that's you know chronic pain really is just a type of non-healing wound mm -hmm. except instead of your skin it's deep inside it's the little ligaments or muscles of your neck it's your low back it's your discs it's that sort of thing mm -hmm. can you explain wow. uh, briefly you kind of already did but what happens during a whiplash yeah so it's an acceleration deceleration so it's you know, with you, you had a rollover injury. So, you know, your head was like whipping around inside the car. And so, um, and so all those muscles get stretched beyond capacity because ligaments and muscles are like rock, you know, rock climbing ropes, right? Mm -hmm. They're dynamic, they stretch a little bit. They're supposed to stretch a little bit. But if you overstretch them, now they're overstretched. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like the slinky. It's hard to kind of go back. Yeah, right? exactly. And so all those the little collagen matrix of your connective tissue, your connective tissue is this magic, this miracle fabric that stretches just the right amount in every direction. But if you overstretch it, it loses its miracle properties. Mm -hmm. And so the nerves that pass through it think it's still being stretched, so it just constantly fires pain signals. And so what we, you know, what we think is happening with this is we're, we're injecting the stem cells, which are responsible for tissue healing after injury. But so like you, your body thinks you've had a new injury, but there's been no trauma. Like yep. you, so we're getting all the benefit of a healing response without actually doing any damage and you grow those nice even collagen fibers and, and restore that elasticity to your connective tissue. So that's why it's so immediate too, because it's, that's With all whiplash, it, yeah. a lot of it is because of like actual scar tissue, yeah, it's, oh. and just breaking that up frees it up. And you feel good, right babe? You don't have any pain in your neck? No, I don't have much pain. It's a little, little stiff. But besides that, not much. Yeah. Not much and pain. that's and especially with rotation, we yeah. injected into the C1 C2 facet, yep. so that I expect you to have actually less range of motion. But over the next couple of days, you're gonna notice that you, so that you can go way further than mm -hmm. you could before. Yeah, yeah, I think Dorian's just probably just a little sore right now, but there's no pain. I mean, I haven't heard you complain or no, anything no, about no, your no, shoulder no. or anything. Not at all. Uh -uh. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, exciting! Good. Yes, yeah, you did. Treatment went well. Yeah, yeah. Really well. Yeah, it's much good. better yeah. than I expected. Yeah, it, it makes a big difference. Yeah. You know, I used for years. I well, er, in the early days, I didn't use sedation at all. Wow. I would just give people laughing gas. And when I started injecting intervertebral discs, it was just so painful. You know, I would have special forces guys who were like trained in what is it called, anti-interrogation or interrogation yeah. resistance, like basically how to be tortured, right? And those guys would be reduced to tears. So for oh. I started out about five, six years ago, I started offering sedation, just sort of in select cases, for, sure. especially for discs, and I would, I would offer it to people and, you know, I'd say, to, you know, would you rather have an anesthesiologist here and sleep through it? Or, and what I found was that the people who chose not to be sedated to save money, I'd call them on the phone like six months later and I'd say, hi, it's Harry Adelson from Doceri Clinics. And they'd go, oh, hello. And they were, they were pissed off at me. Like, you know, I, and after a while, I, you know, and then I'd, I'd sort of say, so how are you doing? Oh, it didn't work, it didn't help. And then I'd start asking him more so, questions. Well, can you go up and down stairs? Yeah, actually I can go up and down. You know, they, yeah, like yeah. when I would really sort of press That's the, the right issue, they, they were better, but they wouldn't admit it. And I finally, like the light bulb went off and I went, these people are mad at me because yeah. it, I tortured them so much. And then I know, like once I sort of realized that, I realized the people I spoke to who had been sedated, that never happened. Wow. They were always happy to talk to yeah. me. And, they, and I realized that people had this very negative association mm -hmm. to the whole experience because I tortured them and so it was like just a bad, bad memory. And so once I, so then I started, I just changed my prices to include the sedation. So like, you don't have to be sedated, but you're paying for it, so you may as well do it. Sure. And as soon as I started doing that, those icicles coming over the <laughs> telephone, like completely stopped happening. And, I, and I'm convinced that it's helped my outcomes. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. And it would probably be a bit of a traumatic experience. Oh yeah, oh, you bet. So you oh, bet. Yeah. That doesn't you bet. help.
Oh, it's no fun so. for me either. And for no, them too, it's, for everyone. You know, the Spanish Inquisition. I'm, I'm the bad guy, <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, you can go in comfortably and do what you need to do mm-hmm. yeah. without worrying yeah. about mm-hmm. what are they going to feel. How they're going to react. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, great. And again, it's, you know, it's IV sedation. It's not general anesthesia. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, that's what I was telling Dorian yesterday. I was like, yeah, right. it's IV sedation. Right. So, so there's a big difference. General anesthesia is gas and it's these very heavy medications and you're okay. like completely unconscious yeah. and mm-hmm. they're very hard on the liver and, lung and uh, brain. Okay. Whereas IV sedation, it's the same medications you use like for a colonoscopy. You're asleep. You don't remember anything. You don't feel anything, but you're not actually unconscious. You're asleep. Yeah, that's probably why you feel good. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and yeah. The, with the ozone. Yeah, like, the ozone. As, as soon as that right. happened, it was like, you oh know, yeah, I just felt clear. Great. Yeah, but, Great. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you. Yeah, yes. thank you so much. I'm so excited. Thank, thank you, you yeah, so much. You. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how you progress. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me too. Thank you, Dr. Harry. Yeah. Great experience. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is the room where Dorian had his procedure done yesterday. And that's the bed. I don't know what that machine is, but everything looks really clean and organized. And you just feel safe here. So what I love about this uh, clinic is that everyone is so professional. All the nurses, everyone is so nice, super attentive. They even ordered us like healthy food here. And uh, yeah, I just felt a lot of peace and I felt just really good and comfortable and Dorian too of course <sighs> super grateful for Dr. Harry as we're gonna go back to the Airbnb and have some breakfast so we're on this super pretty walk right now it's called the Armstrong Trail and um, Dorian's looking good overall how are you feeling babe feeling good and you already feel like less pain in your neck, right? I'm taking it day by day. And today, you know? how is it today? I mean, the the soreness is down and overall feeling, feeling really good. Good, baby. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so it's been like five days since the procedure and we're back home from Utah. So how do you feel, babe? I am feeling really, really good. Yeah, I was a bit sore the first few days and now I have my mobility back. Pain in my neck has decreased significantly. Um, uh, I'd say, I mean, it's still a bit early to tell, but I feel I don't feel like I have much pain except some just natural soreness that is uh, common after a stem cell procedure. Yeah. And I'm just very grateful to Dr. Adelson and his entire staff and team, their professionalism, and yeah, I have high hopes. Um, I'm already feeling better, and I'm gonna be incorporating some more movement into my daily routines and to help build back the flexibility and strengthen my muscles to help keep it keep it going and if you want to learn more about uh, stem cell therapy specifically the kind that dr. Harry Adelson does check out the documentary the stem cell solution and also his book stem cell solution I just read the book and it's really good it's a short fast read and yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along with us in this video. If you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments below. You can also check out Dr. Harry Adelson on his Instagram and I'll leave all of his links on his website and everything so you guys can check it out. If anybody is suffering from chronic back pain or neck pain, I highly recommend checking Dr. Adelson out. And we'll be doing another video in a couple months to track my progress to see how I'm doing and feeling. Yeah. And uh, hopefully by then, um, I'll have a new neck. <laughs> Yay! Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!